ETFs are open-ended investment funds. The number of shares available can fluctuate based on supply and demand through the creations and redemptions process. But how does it work? Think of individual stocks as various pieces of chocolate. Now, take those different chocolates and fill a box with all of your favorite pieces, creating a customized assortment, or ETF. There are two markets for ETF shares, the secondary and primary markets. The secondary market includes well-known securities exchanges, where investors buy and sell existing shares of ETFs. Think of this as the counter-fronted candy shop, accessed through brokerage platforms. The primary market is where ETF share creations and redemptions occur, or the facility where the chocolate is boxed. If an investor wants to buy a box of chocolates, they go to the candy shop, and if a box of chocolates is available, they can purchase it right away. But what if the person wants to buy 20 boxes of chocolate and the shop doesn't have the supply? This is where creation comes into play. The cashier goes to the manager or authorized participant who is in charge of managing the supply of the boxes of chocolates and lets them know about the large order. The cashier gathers all the chocolates according to the recipe and hands them off to the AP. From here, the AP takes the chocolates to the boxing facility, giving them to the team, and they box up the chocolates. Once finished, they give the boxes to the AP who then brings them back to the cashier up front to sell to the investor at market price. Now, what would happen if the investor had 20 boxes of chocolates and wanted to get rid of them? ETF redemption. The investor brings the boxes to the candy shop where the cashier buys them back. The cashier then brings them to the manager and asks if the store has enough in stock. The shop already has more than enough boxes of chocolate, so the manager takes them and delivers them to the boxing facility, where the boxes are broken back down into the original individual chocolates. These chocolates are then picked up by the AP and brought back to the candy shop. With creation and redemption, the supply of boxes of chocolates stays in line with demand, and the well-known liquidity and tax efficiency advantages of ETFs are possible. Remember, ETFs are like a box of chocolates, except you know what you're going to get. To learn more, visit vanek.com.